Hi students, this is the tutorial video to help you um, figure out how to upload a Google Doc to a Canvas assignment. Throughout the school year, you'll be required to submit your rough and final drafts of any writing assignments to our, uh, for our class to a Canvas assignment for grading. You may type it in Google and in Google Docs and share it with um, me. However, for submission, you will need to upload it to Canvas. This is the video to show you how to do that. All right, so always to begin, you want to go to hcpss.me okay, and you want to pull up two things. You want to make sure that you've logged into Google Apps for Education, which pulls up your Google Drive. And then you also want to make sure you log into our Canvas class. So click Canvas and then find whatever class that you're enrolled in. I'm going to use my English 9 as a, an example for you. And from here, what you want to make sure that you do is I would suggest when you're in Google Drive, pull up the assignment that you are trying to submit. So for instance, if this is your first assignment and you're submitting your letter of introduction, pull up your letter of introduction. The reason why I suggest pulling it up is just so that way you can remember one, what the title is, and two, make sure that it's all done and it's the right document that you need. So if it's your letter, you can make sure that you have your heading and it's aligned on the left. You can make sure you have a proper greeting, that you have the four paragraphs that you've written that you have an appropriate closing and a signature down the bottom, okay? And this could be if it's your letter of introduction or any paper that you have for my class this year. Just make sure it's the correct one. When you're ready, go to the class Canvas page. And on here, you can find the assignment um, from a couple different places. You can look on the right-hand side and see the, your to-do list. And what that usually includes is, for my class, the assignments that you have upcoming that you need to submit. So for instance, you might have to do your email of introduction or let, we're going to use as our example today, turning in your letter of introduction. You can also see it from the coming up from your calendar. You can choose from here as well and go to the assignment that way. Or you can go over to assignments and if you click on that, it'll usually give you a list of upcoming assignments or if you didn't do something, it might say overdue assignments and you can click on there from, um, from on the assignment from there. I'm going to go over to my to-do list and click on turn in letter of introduction. As my example, you would select whichever one that you are. Now you'll have noticed if you just literally rewind the video two seconds, you would have seen a blue submit assignment button here. Sometimes depending on what web browser you're in, it automatically loads the submission form right here. Okay. Um, so if you do not see this part here and check up here that you have that blue submit button and click on that, if nothing loads, re-click on this and it will re, um, it will actually refresh the page and that submit assignment button should come up and from there if you click on it it will take you down to the space at the bottom where you can choose your document. Now mine looks a little different because I, I in the student feature that I'm in the student view that I'm using as a test student it doesn't allow me to actually use um, Google Docs. I'm gonna like model what you would do however you guys would do it a little bit differently. So you can follow the directions right here under the assignment submission, it says click the blue button that submits assignment if it doesn't automatically load, which it did. And then it says on the options of submission, choose the second tab for Google Doc. Now, you, you'll see on mine, it doesn't say Google Doc. Yours actually will in the second tab say Google Doc, or you can choose Google Drive. If you click on those, if this is the first time that you're working on this, it might pop up something that looks like this and says log in. All you would need to do is click authorize and if you're already logged into your Google Drive, you won't have to type in an address. It'll automatically pick up your, your HCPSS Cafe login and um, just hit authorize and then I believe allow and you should be good. And eventually what it will do is bring up everything that's in your Google Drive. Same thing if you selected um, Google Doc, which remember you won't see right here. It'll pull up all the Google Docs that you have. And what you want to do from there is just pick the Google Doc that you want and hit submit assignment. To show you what it actually looks like, I'm going to just pick a random thing on my um, desktop as, you know, the file. Let's pretend that it's my Google Doc that I selected and when I, and I can see that it's right there and I'm going to hit submit assignment. After I've done that, it's going to take a second to submit it and boom, it's going to give me a couple things. It's going to say resubmit assignment. So if it is not past the due date, you should still be able to resubmit the assignment for regrading. Okay, so you, you, if you're looking through and you realize, oh crap, I, I submitted the wrong thing and you want to change it, go ahead and click resubmit assignment and it will take you back to that submission page. You could also, if like you're unsure if you submitted the right thing, over here it's going to say you turned it in, it'll give you a little check mark, you'll be good to go. 
if you click on submission details, then what it will do is pull up whatever is the document that you um, that you submitted. And of course, mine's taking a second to load. But if you click on submission details, it'll usually show you the Google Doc that you submitted. If you submitted a Google Doc or if you submitted a PDF, I can download it here and see what it is. If I need to resubmit, I can go ahead and do that there. If you want to leave me a comment or anything like um, telling me to look at something or in particular, hit, uh, you can type in a comment, you can attach something and go ahead and hit save and you can send it to me that way. Otherwise, this is how you would actually upload an assignment for my class. Um, on And if you are connecting Google Docs to a Canvas assignment, this is what you're going to need to do throughout the school year. Make sure that you do not wait until the last minute and that you are submitting it by the due date. If you submit even a second after the due date, it's going to count it as late and that's what I go by. If you have any issues, please make sure that you see me as soon as possible or reach out to me, send me a Canvas inbox message, whatever it is you need to do, but don't wait until the last due date second. All right, good luck.